Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm going to show you the Sounds tab in Scratch 3.0. So in the current version of Scratch, the one that you may have been using for a while, under the Sounds tab, we had three different options for adding in different sounds. So we could choose one of the sounds that Scratch had, where you could record your own sound, or you could upload a file that you had on your computer. Now, in Scratch 3.0, in the Sounds tab, there's no buttons up here, so you might be like, ah, where's it at? It's down here. So down here, you can choose a sound, you can search for a sound, you can record your own sound, you can get a surprise, which randomly picks a sound, or you can upload from your computer. So it's got some of the same options. The newest one is adding in the surprise. So when I click on it, it just gives me a random, random sound. So let me show you in Scratch 2.0. When you clicked on this, before it would give you all these different sounds and you had to actually click to hear what the sound sounded like. And then once you found one you really liked, you click on it and you'd say, okay. This has changed a little bit in Scratch 3.0. So let me show you how this works. So you can click to choose a sound, either one of these works. And you can search for something. So like if I wanted to find that dog, I could find the dog. I could go over here and use the tabs. However, I don't have to actually click on any sound. Check this out. All I have to do is just move my mouse over the sound and then it actually starts playing it. And to actually select one, you just simply click on it. So that's it for selecting a sound. Now in Scratch, uh, the older version of it, you had some different effects where you could fade in, fade out, get louder, softer, silence, reverse. And you could also edit some of the sounds. You could highlight a part and be like, okay, I want to delete this section, etc. Now in Scratch 3.0, the effects are down here. So you can um, actually make it so that it sounds like a robot. So here's the current sound. And you can say, hey, make it sound more like a robot. Changes the way it sounds. You can actually give it some echo effects, or you can even flip the sounds like you could before in the older version of Scratch. Now, some cool new features in here, they actually make it so that you can um, play the sound faster, as well as slower. So you can press this a bunch of times and it'll change it to a new sound. Now, if you don't like any of the changes you made, you can uh, just hit the undo button and you can even trim out some stuff that you don't like in your sound. So those are the new updates in um, Scratch 3.0 for the different sound changes. Can't speak right now. Sound changes. <laughs> Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high quality professional development.